So I'll call the meeting to order the property committee at 8.05. I can verify that open meeting law requirements have been met. Uh, attached to this, you see a copy of the minutes from the previous meeting. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Okay. Okay, we have a motion to approve and a second. Anybody see anything that we need changed? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor of approving those minutes signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay, if anyone from the public is watching or listening, uh, if you'd like to make a public comment at this time, uh, the number you can call is 715-538-1770. Okay, we'll give them a minute or so. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a call during this time. But <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Randy Tollefson's mother died. Oh, okay. It's, he was out visiting. Oh, boy, he's having a great fall. And he's waiting for his incision to heal. Yeah, we as a county board probably should <clears throat> do something. Yeah, we've got money in our sunshine fund. Okay. okay. I plan on getting a card and maybe a gift card for them. Mm -hmm. But that's a gift card. Okay, we'll go on. Kurt, then, you want to sure. give us the loadout? We handed you guys a, <clears throat> a list here. So I think you're aware we had a rebid date on Tuesday. I uh, did have a decent turnout with our rebids. Uh, the result of the rebid wasn't what we were hoping for. Uh, we actually ended up going up about a hundred grand, but we were able to fill holes in some of those areas that we didn't have bids. So before we had a placeholder, right? So we're still <clears throat> right around that ten percent over without the value engineering. So here's here's what I would recommend, and I have talked to Venture about it. Um, we are going to meet with all of these contractors early next week and talk about those value options that we have explored. We, we've, we've earmarked about three to four percent already before engaging discussions with these additional contractors, right? So I want to target that 10 percent savings. And early next week we'll meet with them and come up with multiple things that we can adjust in the building. Um, and then we're planning to meet with Venture on Wednesday. Uh, to go over that list to make sure that the suggestions that we're making don't deviate from design intent, don't have any implications with code or performance of the building. And then I would like to meet with you guys again next week with uh, some numbers here. Because right now the reason we haven't shown numbers is that those numbers are going to be different. So we're not recommending an award of a contract amount yet. Um, and we need to get that finalized before the end of the month because what happens is there was a time or a duration that the bids are valid for the first bid date and that's coming up at the end of October. So the ones that we just bid, we actually have 45 days. So those don't necessarily, from, from Tuesday. So those necessarily would need to be awarded by the end of the month, but the other ones did, okay? So um, kind of the, the big picture is is that the elements that we have before you these are this is a list of all the contractors that are the qualified low contractors for all of the categories we do have a couple categories that we do not have numbers for yet and one was paving and the other one was joint sealants so it's not a big piece of the of the puzzle but we still do need to work to get those numbers um and you know right now that that 10 percent mark is uh is where we need to come down now what i would propose is we may need to engage staff in some of those changes. Um, the sheriff and the judge and his staff, uh, Tim and Jeremy, to talk about some of the, the changes that may be proposed. So um, that's really what I want to bring to you in a week um, of where we are with these contractors. And you know, the contractors that we had listed before are in here. Um, that you guys had given us the, the intent to do the LOI. We want to do the same thing with the balance of these contractors that we want to get a letter of intent to sit down and talk to them about options to be able to save some money. So 
a lot of what's going on is just the market and prices right now. It's just I had it happen on another job too, and it's just what contractors are having to deal with prices of of things. So, and they have to make sure they don't lose money either. Right, and when you bring them in and we start to get them under contract, now we can start to talk about lead times and when you order them, because what you have in some of these, they may be putting a level of percentage or when they have to procure the equipment and they may be putting an adjustment in there right if they're not going to order it for six or eight months what does that look like and if we talk to them if we would release the po immediately can we see a savings that's the sort of discussions that we need to have to get into more intricate discussions so but once they bid they can't go up no once once that, we accept the bids correct they, they and that's why right. go any higher correct but you can negotiate with them correct because they were a little better correct Go ahead, Tim. Um, you know, a comment and a question. Well, the list that you gave us today is actually has 25 contractors, and the list that we got two weeks ago is 11 contractors. So you yeah. definitely filled in holes, yes. as you said. That's a, a more expansive, yes. more than twice as many people. Um, so that's the, I just want to note that. Uh, do you want do you want uh, approval for a letter of intent on these, or do you want to wait another week? Do you think we need to have a letter of intent right now if we're going to do VE, or should we do just do it next week? Um, probably do it next week, yeah. Okay. Letter of intent, we need to get out. So, so to answer your question, Tim, we, we don't need to take action on the list that we gave you today because you took action last week. I think we're fine without action today. Okay. Yeah. Did you have another question, Tim? Or no, or that's it. I think masonry would be a week, you know what I mean? So I think we do the same thing in the week. Kurt's asking about masonry. Masonry is really our key component, right? We need to get the mason on board so that we can get the walls going up. Um, but I think in that week's time, we should be okay. Yeah. So you are strictly negotiating with these people now? Yeah, these are the ones that we're going to be meeting because they were the low bidders. They're the qualified low bidders that they had the scope. And then we're going to go over what they have in regards to options. And I have talked to Venture. Venture has some ideas about things that we could revise. Uh, we do need to talk to staff about them so that they understand the changes and why we would be making changes to the bid documents. So, so we're looking at next Thursday at 8? Is that what you're asking? It's up to, yeah, I would Thursday like to meet with you guys Friday, next Thursday. Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Thursday would be better. Thursday would be great because then I can get contracts done by the end of the month. How does that work for other committee members? So I don't know. Well, I think I'll go. Oh, that's what happened yesterday with our video. Okay. Is that the October schedule all doc? All that's on the calendar is audit, right? Yeah. An audit is at what nine? nine? And you wish this should be a quick meeting too? I will not yeah. Be available on I would think that if I had a half an hour with you. Would Friday work it's, for you, Dan? It's all day. Friday, Friday is, Would you rather have Thursday or would Friday work? If we take action on Friday, we'd need to get the contracts out that same day because that's oh, okay. kind of the... Well, should we plan on Thursday and make sure the three of us are here or if no, Randy can't make it? Days before that next week? Well, you, you, you're not going to be ready till Thursday, will you? Right. Oh. Right. Thursday sound good then? What is the date? Are you okay with that, Dan? Uh, Thursday is the 28th. Okay. okay. Thursday 28th at 8 o'clock. Or on the, on the web, you know, put it on there. Mm -hmm. Well, if, it's, if she passed away, the funeral. Oh, yeah, the, right. the funeral should be oh, taken should care be of by right. then. Yeah. Okay, you're finished? I'm done. Sorry we didn't have better news, but um, the rebid process, what we did is we rescoped and tried to get additional bidders, which we did. We got regenerated interest there, but 
the markets right now, um, and what we, that's what we've been having, is that even delaying it a couple of weeks, it may go up. That's why the sooner that I can get these locked in, the better, just with what's happening on the material side. So. One more question. I remember that you had a general on there, and I think it was Jaworski, and there's nothing back. Don't you have to have a general right away? Or? No, and, and if you look on this list here, um, the the general package, we're, we're calling it carpentry here. Uh, but 3B, 3B and 6, Fowler and Hammer, is, is the one that is there. So when we rebid it, that would be the same thing. yeah, Fowler and Hammer was the lower number than Jarowski when the rebid came in. So. Any other questions for Kurt? So he. Here's the, here's the sorts of things that we're going to revisit. Um, there is some different detention glazing that we can use. And, and I'm not saying these will be approved, but these are all things we're going to, to visit. Um, we're going to analyze the AV equipment that's in the courtroom and in the EOC. Uh, we're going to look at some of the uh, brick, or whether we do a utility brick or a standard brick. It's just a different size of brick, so it would look the same. It's just that it's less labor intensive that's there. Um, there is some uh, detention uh, equipment that we've looked at in regards to door hardware components that were some suggestions uh, in the mix. And those are, those are some of the, the smaller items that get us up to that, that number. The bigger items that we would need to discuss is, are we doing all the courtrooms? Do we have the courtrooms that are there or do we just not finish one of them out that we don't need tomorrow? That would be a big number, potentially. I'm not saying we would do that, but those are the sorts of things that I'm going to bring back to you and say, what's that value worth, so that we don't go over the don't go over the budget. Um, you know, there's other elements about when we come in. There is some of that limestone. We could go to more of a precast panel, so it would still have the same look, but it may be a little bit more cost effective. Um, floor finishes we would look at. There's some colored concrete in some of the areas. We may just go to a standard concrete that's sealed. Uh, there's some polished concrete. We might just take the polished and put that to a sealed concrete, and those are in jail areas. So it's things like that that we'll, we'll look at. So. You're right. Sometime it would. You're right. And, and I'm not I'm not proposing that that's what we're doing, but we're going to put everything on the table and just uh, evaluate what makes the most sense from a cost perspective. So, anything else from anyone? I think if um, that the question of finishing or not finishing the second courtroom, we better involve the judge in that decision. Oh, absolutely. No, none of that action would be taken without staff involvement. I mean, the thing about the courtroom is it's not just the, the local judge, but the chief judge would need to be involved. I mean, those are changes that, that have, to have, have to have approval before I would ever bring it to you as a committee and say, this this is where we're going to head. And how does that sequence, This we've... It, it's not. A, it's really not a problem. But I remember it was another hurdle that we had to overcome before um, actually um, uh, signing the contract or you know m uh, making the loan. The approval from the who is it? Supreme, not a circuit court judge or a chief judge. Yeah. Who is it? Again? The chief judge. Chief judge. Yeah. So it's, there's there's a district that's there, and there's a chief judge for that district. So it does have to have approval from your local judge as well as the chief judge to be in compliance with uh, the Supreme Court guidelines. And who is the so. chief judge and where does he sit or she? I should know that. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I mean, is this a West Central region? Yeah, yeah something correct. Like that? Might probably yeah. La Crosse or something like correct. that? Correct. I think, I think it's La Crosse, but I'm not positive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> well, thank you. See you on Thursday. You don't have to thank me. It's not good news I can give you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks okay. for showing up and telling us bad news. Yeah. We, <laughs> we'll work through it. I think the thing is that we're, we're all in this together. We'll come up with a solution that works. Well, so. actually, I was concerned that you would not find contractors. Enough. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad yeah, that could have been worse. Down to only two, two missing. Yeah. So we'll keep working at it. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tim, everyone. you had you told me you had a couple items for the next agenda. No, that would be exec finance. Oh, that's exec finance yeah. committee meeting. Okay. So you want it worded just like it is now for the next week, or do you want? Do you want oh, the agenda. Yeah, yes. we're going to be doing the same thing. This okay. is the way it's worded right now. 
uh, yes. discussion okay. to same thing. action except same. bid. Okay, so it would be worded the same way. Do we want to add anything else to this agenda? Does 8 o'clock work? Yeah, yeah, 8 o'clock works the best. Um, are we still probably having planning on having a regular property meeting then early November? Are you? I think we'll be done with you next week, but so you will be done with us. Why don't we wait until next week and we can always schedule it? You know, I mean, okay. see what happens next yeah, week. Yeah, but, but I was right now, okay. Yep. Yeah, that's why if we, if we so want next to week would be the one before exec finance. We needed something with money. Okay. I don't think so. November first is our meeting in that county board. It's the ninth. Oh, okay. So. And I got well, that's right. Out county board has a mail earlier. out on the second. So, <laughs> if you had a meeting on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday of that following week, it'd be we too have late for. We still holiday on the third week in November. Otherwise. We still have a holiday. Have a <laughs> no, it's a week holiday. Yeah. <laughs> well, that that board meeting is required okay. by statute. Yeah, it's it's pretty much set. The regular the or the Sunday regular county the board November meeting, the co November county board meeting. Yeah, the county board's on the ninth, right? Ninth. Yep. <clears throat> the way the statutes say, it's the first Tuesday after the second Be Monday, because of the election, first, probably if possible no, election. It's no, just, it just in goes the back in time. To, who knows? And then if it falls on Veterans Day, which is the eleventh, <laughs> then you have to move it one day. Because you can't have it on Veterans Day. That's all in the Wisconsin statutes. Wow. So. Okay, so we'll just let the idea or the agenda uh, consist of the Samuels group discussion, because there may be a little bit more discussion yep. when we come to that, yep. if we're going to be accepting to something. Yep. So, anything else? If not, then I will adjourn the meeting at eight twenty-three.